Certain stuff I'm not gonna show you. Like I'm not gonna show you like my messages. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. What's on my iPhone 11. So I officially have had this phone for a week now. Probably like a week and a couple days. So I'm going to be doing a review as well. I noticed that my last iPhone video, it was got pretty popular. So I was like, why not? Like, let me show you guys how far... I mean like how much I like it, especially coming from the 8 over here, you know, there's a lot of differences and I feel like if you're coming from like the XS or like the XR, it's like pretty much the same thing so you're not really going to see like drastic differences, but definitely people coming from home buttons, you, you, you're going to see that difference. I'll tell you that. Like it's still getting some getting used to, but it doesn't take long and you're going to love it. So yeah, so let's just get into the video. I'm going to show you guys what's on my iPhone, um, all my cool apps that I have. I have my phone pretty organized, so I don't think that... Hold on, let me put all of my group chats on Do Not Disturb and all the people who text me on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so now everyone's on Do Not Disturb. Oh, I got this really cute pink pop socket from TJ Maxx um yeah they have so much affordable stuff there because I don't know what I would do without it like I always hold my phone like this like I can't just hold my phone like that like I just feel like boom fall slip so yeah um so I'm just gonna start screen recording um, now on my eight oh my gosh like I've been having I've always had problems screen recording so I'm just really nervous to screen record because I feel like every time I screen record it deletes it but this is a new phone so we shouldn't have those problems I so far love this phone like every time people see this they're like oh I see with the 11 but overall I really like it the pictures oh my god guys follow me on IG at Michelle Nyla same thing as my YouTube handle these pictures are crisp like, my friend saw one of the pictures that I took this past weekend, and she was like, this looks like it's, like, Photoshop. Like, it looks so good. And I was like, I know. Like, it looks so good. But, um, anyway, so, yeah. So, besides the pictures, I feel like the new software is really cool. I have my phone in dark mode, but you'll see that in, like, the screen recording right here. Um, but it's really fast, opens up apps really quick. I think that's the A Bionic. 13 chip whatever um see i've been doing my research but um i just love it i just love the look of it it's so pretty i also have a new case coming in um from case defy check them out they have really cool like signature um cases you can also customize them as well um the one i have is a signature case but you can like customize it too um and that should be coming in probably in like a week or so so but i couldn't wait to film this so yeah but anyway let's just get into it and let's get into the video so let me screen record hey guys so i forgot about this app called followers um it's this really cool app that's like for instagram and it lets you know who's following you who blocked you who's not following you back and it's really good you know so that you're not following people who don't follow you so download Three, it two one is it screen recording? Okay. So this is my home screen right here. Um, I have my group me right here, my messages, which I'm not going to open. Um, my IG, follow me at Michelle Nyla. <laughs> um, and also I have my call log, not going to open that either. Um, and then I have it really organized as you can see here. Like everything has a name and I have everything in files so that it's easily found. I absolutely cannot stand when I see someone's phone and they have like all their apps just all over the screen and swipe, 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 swipe. I can't, like I would not be able to find anything. Like I get it like to each its own, like if it's your phone, you know where everything is, cool. For me, that would hurt my eyes and give me so much anxiety, like whoa. So here I just have all the boring Apple stuff that it comes with. I don't use my calendar. I feel like everyone who has an iPhone uses their calendar. I just haven't found any use for it. Like some, I'll just look at it to see what day it is, you know. 
Um, I have my notes here. I'm not gonna open that. Um, I have some stuff in there, but I use my notes sometimes to like jot down quick things that like I see. I have my bank app, Ticketmaster. I always use Ticketmaster to purchase my tickets, but I think it's Fandango now. Yeah. Um, I have the life period tracker, which helps me track my period. I don't really use it, but I used to. Um, I really highly recommend people download Genius Scan. Um, it's so worth it, especially if you need to scan documents that people need like right away and you're not gonna walk around with a big scanner. So I think it's really cool that they have an app like that and I scan so many documents on there. It's insane. Um, I have WhatsApp, you know, when I when I go out the country, you know. Um, I use Pages and Google Docs a lot to type my essays for school. Um, so those are really good. Like I've, I've literally written an entire essay on Google Docs. I was literally on the way to Santorini on the boat and I was typing an essay on Google Docs. Like that is how much I use that app. It is, it's there for me. Um, and then I don't know what Clips is. I think it's an automated thing that they have for Apple. Um, oh, this is my lock screen, guys. Isn't it so cute? Like I forgot to show that. Um, I wanted to look for like a pastel pink aesthetic really cute girl or girl wallpaper and my friend is like no Michelle like you can't have a picture of yourself and I was like yeah like you're right like like not for the lock screen um so I just thought that was so cute um but anyway let's go to my social media tab I have Twitter sprinkle of Jesus like I took out the notifications for that because they would send me a lot of notifications but it's basically just like inspirational quotes and the quotes are actually really relatable like I'd be like dang that just hit me like um so you guys should download that if you want to wake up every day to like an inspirational quote they they send it out like i think at like eight o'clock in the morning if you have that correct me down below in the comments but it's pretty it's a it's like early in the morning i think whatever um then of course i have spotify if you guys have any dope spotify playlists please let me know because i need some new music uh, facebook facebook messenger i never open facebook messenger YouTube, of course, and my Snapchat. Yep, this is my Snapchat. Um, yep, everyone that I have on Snapchat, everyone I'm subscribed to. Um, what else? So that's done with the social media tab. Now this is where we get to the good stuff. This is how I edit my photos. Okay, so <clears throat> I use this one app to the death of me, and it is called Insta Size. So this is Insta Size, right? And I pick these different edits like okay so let's click on this one right and you click that button and look at all the crazy cool edits they have you have to pay for it I pay for it because it's worth it like look at that. look at that and also what you can do is you can bring down the saturation level of it so that it's not so you know that and then they also have these like retouch details sometimes like I'll retouch you know like whatever acne you know whatever um and then I also they also have sorry I'm like blanking out right now they have these right here but I don't wait is this the recording okay good um I don't really use it really sometimes I use lux brightness sharpness a little bit um, and exposure, but contrast just makes it too dark for me. I can't. So that's into the size, and also, it also something with like the borders, like it makes it Instagram friendly and makes it look really aesthetically nice. Um, so I do recommend that. Um, I Visco, I used to use Visco, I don't use it anymore. I just personally didn't love the edits they would give me. And stuff like that I use be funky all the time like be funky is my app and they have some pretty good okay like this is from my car tour video that I just posted and I always go to effects and I always go to chromatic or chromatic 2 and I'll just like like look at that I'll just do that and it's kind of like the same thing as insta size but you can add text overlays frames um, the edits are really good too if I ever want to like flip my picture like look at that like that's so cool right left you know um and then i always use beautify beautify just makes it like really 
contrasty whatever um and then sometimes i use fill light i don't know what it does but it just makes it look so nice like look at that i love that um and then i never use these down here it's just a whole bunch you could do like you can make the picture matte blur it color it sharpen it temperature saturation i don't really use all that but yeah um let's see I feel like it's not recording, guys. Is it? I would be so mad if it didn't record it. Because why is it still at 132? Hmm. Oh! Oh my god, guys. I'm so dumb. 132 is the time. I thought it was like only a minute and 32 seconds. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so this is my... What I use to edit... Um, some of my, what's it called? This is what I use to edit my, um, thumbnails. It's called Fonto. Um, let's see if I can, like, bring you one. So, I use Fonto to edit my, um, thumbnails. If you guys, sorry, I'm sick, that's why I sound like that. If you guys want me to do another, um, <clears throat> tutorial on how I edit my thumbnail pictures, I will definitely do that, but I just don't feel like doing that right now. But just know that it's called Fonto. Oh my gosh, my throat, I'm sick, oh my god. <clears throat> and then I used to use Vaunt, and I forgot what that was, but I think it's like you can put in a video, and you can edit the video, and like add like subtext titles to the video, um, you can add um, like pictures in your videos, <clears throat> effects, stuff like that. Um, Okay, I need water. I think I'm good because I'm almost done. So we're just gonna try to push through. Okay, and then here I have my Uber Eats and my Domino's under the food tab. The games, I really only play games with like my phone. Like I have nothing. I repeat, nothing else to do. That is the only time I will play games. Um, but I would recommend a game that's really fun is Dancing Line. It's so fun. Like, and it's so addicting. Um, I used to play this game in Spain all the time. It's called Stack Jump. Oh, I haven't played it in a while. That's why it's loading. Stack Jump, so fun. So Stack Jump and Dancing Line, I would definitely recommend that you guys try it out. Um, Dunk Shot is really addicting, too. Oh, my God. I'm putting you guys on. These games are so addicting. And then Sims, you know, like, once in a blue moon, I'll open up my Sims app. Um, and I'll, like... <laughs> You know see everyone again like my family whatever my fake family so yeah this is my travel stuff um uber lyft mega bus um airbnb hostel world cheap flights and expedia um you know we catching flights um and then i have my shop app i have shine i don't know if you guys heard of shine i, th I think it's like up and coming like you know it's like it's like getting there boohoo Fashion Nova. I love me some Fashion Nova. Um, Nordstrom, eBay, and Amazon. I use Amazon all the time just because me and my mom have Prime. Um, what else do I have? This is all boring Apple stuff. Um, I use Spanish Dictionary. You know, um, that's that JDA is for my job. Um, mail. I know I have 33 thousand emails guys i know i know i know um so yeah just boring apple stuff um and then entertainment so i have F fx now i think that's where i wa no i watch euphoria on hbo go mm -hmm. i think i watch pose on fx yeah yeah, yeah gotta keep up with my shows then i have the e app to keep up with the kardashians um then i have prime video um then i have iMovie on here i never use it though hulu hulu and netflix netflix is on the second page i never use garage band don't really see a point in using it um movie tickets shazam every time i'm out and i hear a song that i like i'm like shazam and i like hold it up like ah. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's my Shazam, Kimoji, I have to re-download it on this phone, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
but yeah um what else do i have this is my money stuff so like all my credit card stuff um, um my parking um venmo zelle capital one cash app i like venmo a little better i feel like it feels more secure um i don't know i just don't like how it tells people like who you're sending stuff to like i don't like that um and then i have my gps i use waze i just keep google maps and maps in here just in case you know as like insurance but i always use waze now i used to never use waze i forgot who put me on it but yeah i always use waze now um <clears throat> ooh, I'm gonna blur that out um and then that's all that i have really um on my phone let me see yeah that's all that i have so that is what's on my iphone 11 um i'm gonna try to get a thumbnail real quick so i'm just gonna cut out at that part well thank you guys for clicking on this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to tune into the next one um i don't know what my next video is gonna be about but i have a couple ideas um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join the family